Now, moments before the Chauvin trial verdict came down yesterday, police in Columbus saved the life of a black girl who was about to be stabbed. Now, don't take my word for it, or law enforcement's body cam footage shows us exactly what happened. But instead of giving you the truth, the media, they're just echoing the vicious lies of radical leftists and racial demagogues. And they're using this tragic incident again to further smear police officers as unrepentant, vile racists. Among them is former Obama flunky Valerie Jarrett, who framed the Columbus incident like this, saying a black teenage girl named Makia Bryant was killed because a police officer immediately decided to shoot her multiple times in order to break up a knife fight. Demand accountability, fight for justice. Now, let's get something straight. It's not a knife fight when only one person is armed and doing the attacking. That's called a stabbing. And watching the body cam footage released yesterday, I mean, it looks like Makia Bryant was about to stab another girl who happened to be black. So does Jarrett and all the other people who chimed in today and last night, do they really think that cops should have just stood by and let that poor girl possibly get stabbed to death, do nothing? Is that what the social justice system would look like if the left really got in charge? According to radical activist Bree Newsom, that's exactly right. She tweeted this saying, Teenagers have been having fights, including fights involving knives, for eons. We do not need police to address these situations by showing up to the scene and using a weapon against one of the teenagers. Y'all need help. I mean that sincerely. That is just deranged, but not to the media. The Kia Bryant, a 16-year-old girl in Columbus, Ohio, called the police for help. An officer was on the scene, and in 22 seconds, he shot her dead. What if it were a member of your family, your neighbor, uh, in a, uh, essentially a, a teenage fight, a schoolyard fight? So many other black people will face similar fates. The police will not exercise discretion, will not use a reduced sense of engagement to preserve black life. Now, just as pathological was attorney Ben Crump's tweet from the night before. Columbus felt the sting of another police shooting as Columbus police killed an unarmed 15-year-old black girl named Makia Bryant, another child lost. Well, of course, it's just a complete lie, but one that was uncritically echoed by the New York slimes. They only corrected the egregious falsehood after getting caught. But by then, the White House had already committed to the media uh, its own version of the big lie. The killing of 16-year-old Michaela Bryant by the Columbus police is tragic. She was a child. We know that police violence disproportionately impacts uh, black and Latino people in communities and that black women and girls, like black men and boys, experience higher rates of police violence. Our focus is on um, working to address systemic racism and implicit, implicit bias head-on and, of course, to passing laws and legislation that will put much-needed reforms into place at police departments around the country. Oh my God, she's awful. The only implicit bias I'm seeing right now is against blue lives. Because what we just laid out for you was the anatomy of a dangerous Soviet-like smear campaign that will only put Americans, and especially black lives, at risk. Likewise, the lies about the Columbus shooting are only fueling more division, more unrest, more distrust, and of course, more misguided marches. Of course, that was another lie. That wasn't, that, that was just another lie. They're repeating more lies. So those stoking these flames, they should just be ashamed. They should be called out, remembered for all time.